this technique is based on the Chinese acupressure points. They call it the meridian points and tapping those points for releasing the emotions which are supposedly blocked and those points which are causing some kind of disturbance in our mind and in the body. Using this technique, we can help ourselves in many ways. Typically, we can help ourselves in overcoming certain limiting emotions, in overcoming anxiety, in overcoming worries. Also, we can help ourselves overcoming some kind of pain in the body. We can use the affirmation while tapping. So basically, in this process, we are having energy points. We are tapping our body at different locations at those energy points, which are known as meridian points. And we are having simultaneously the affirmation so that those affirmation we are feeling. And one thing I will suggest that when we are tapping these points, when we are tapping these points, we are feeling that touch as a healing touch. That touch feeling is important. When we are touching it, it's not just a mechanical touch. We are feeling as if every touch is having that divinity, which is healing our body. So for that, it's always preferable to first get to the alpha state, get to that state of calm and composure, and then get to the state where we feel ourselves that we have an access to that incredible source of energy and that expansive ocean of consciousness, which is always our companion in the journey of life. And having that as our companion and the power of healing that comes to us through that expansive source, we now tap. And that tapping has a different power altogether when we feel we are being healed. So before going to the tapping process, always do this. Do this practice better to do otherwise this practice also can be done at any point in time at any location where you can just do it and uh, feel if you're feeling a little uncomfortable maybe having a little anxiety you can also do it and get rid of that with the tapping process but as a daily practice you can adopt this and if you can do it every morning and evening once we can easily overcome some of the limiting emotions, bodily pain, or some kind of internal uh, discomfort, even in, including procrastination, including some of the mental motivative uh, motivations. Yeah? So all these things we can do with the emotional freedom technique. So today, as I mentioned, we'll do a quick process to get to that source of uh, feeling that we are in presence of that source. So this we can do every day. In fact, this is such a powerful process to remind ourselves that we are secured all the time. We have access to that incredible source of energy, which is having healing power, loving power, compassion, confidence, courage. All these things are accessible from that source, which is our companion. Then we bring in that healing power to tap our body. So let's get to the process and uh, get started. So and choose to remove our glasses. We get to the position by sitting straight. Our spine is straight and direct, it's been ensured. Our palms upward and eyes closed. Palms are placed on our lap, right palm on the right thigh left palm on the left thigh and we'll quickly relax our body by taking a deep breath in let's do it three two one zero deep breath in tighten the body the entire body at once is tight from the head till the tip of the toes feel that tightness do it moderately if you are having any heart problem, blood pressure issues, or any such ailments like stiffness. And now, still holding the breath, tightening the body. Every part is tightened, every muscle, every joint is stiffened. 
Now we relax. Release the breath. Feel the relaxation in every part. Head relaxed, face relaxed, eyes relaxed and calm. Nose, jaws, throat, all relaxed. Neck, shoulders, back of the shoulder, the upper back area, lower back area, all relaxed. Feel that relaxation. Enjoy that relaxation. Both hands from the shoulder joint till the tip of the fingers. Feel that relaxation. Flow with it. Chest relaxed. Abdomen relaxed and calm. Groin area, genital area. Anasiriya, all relaxed. From the hip joints till the tip of the toes of both legs, feel that relaxation. Thighs, calm, relaxed, at ease. Both the knees, take your attention to them. Feel that relaxation. Calf muscles, shin, ankles, both feet and toes, all relaxed and comfortable. The entire body is so relaxed, feeling like a feather, light, floating, as of levitating in the air with this relaxation. Now feel the breath, breath flowing in and going out. You can feel the positive energy which is coming in through this breath. Feel the cleansing purification process of the body by this air and as it is taking out all the toxins, all the negativities from the mind. A feeling so relaxed, calm, serene within after every breath. Feel that. This breathing process along with so many complex, interdependent, highly complicated systems and processes which are happening every moment in every cell of the body. Trillions of cells are there and millions of processes are happening. So it's an unbelievably huge number of processes, systems. Trillions and trillions of systems and processes are organized, harmonized all through our life. And they are happening every moment. This is a miracle. And this miracle is happening all the time, whether we are aware of it or not. And this is a possibility only when there is an incredible source of energy and a vast, expansive ocean of intelligence, consciousness, which organizes, orchestrates this magic, this miracle every moment in our life. Let's feel the presence of that source. And 
we are absolutely secured safe in this sanctuary of love compassion in the presence of this source which is our companion every moment in life feel that see that vast expanse of light all across everywhere around us and rain and through us so why fear all the time we are being taken care of we just need to trust and feel the presence of this source it has all the wisdom to give us the best when we connect and don't block the flow and the presence is acknowledged let's feel the presence and seek the healing power so that right now we go to the process of healing our mind our negative emotions by touching and tapping different locations feel those healing energies on the tip of your fingers and now with a sense of gratitude with a sense of trust and surrender to the source slowly we are bringing our attention back to the breathing process back to our body back to ourselves our fingers our hands and slowly gently we open our eyes as we start the comments the emotional freedom technique in this technique we'll use our fingers and we'll tap different locations of our body with a formation and that will help us overcome certain challenges of life so we come back and let me demonstrate the whole practice for you we'll use nine different meridian points there are many but these nine points are critical crucial important for emotional freedom technique and this we do in three rounds same points we tap and then we have certain affirmation they keep changing a little as we go from one round to the other so let's pay attention the first meridian point is this location if you can see me on your screen the location below the little finger and about couple of inches 2 inches here this is the invocation point and we tap this point only once this tapping is done only once while tapping we typically use our fingers either four of these fingers or we can use two fingers and i will tell you when to use two fingers we use the predominant hand if you are a right handed person use your right hand for tapping and sometimes we can use both our hands so the start point is the invocation point in emotional freedom technique we first surface the issue so remember we separate in every healing process we separate out so separate then we do the healing process then we integrate it back similarly here we surface it it is buried underneath some of the mental agony problem challenges we are bringing them we are not hiding from them we are saying we face this challenge and then we go for the healing process so this point is tapped only once first round then we don't need to do it in the second and third round so let us do it and today's affirmation that we are using is for overcoming 
negative emotions you can use the particular term that you are suffering from or having problem with you can use anxiety you can use worries you can use guilt you can use anger fear any of the emotions which is troubling you so we are using for emotion today so let's start the process reposition ourselves sit comfortably and start the process and follow the affirmation and the flow how it is changing you can use the same sequence same type of flow of affirmation for uh, for the emotional freedom day now we are tapping this point and saying the affirmation like this you can close your eyes while doing it i know i have emotional challenges some negative emotions they come to my mind and they trouble me at that time i really feel miserable discomfort comes to my mind i feel sometimes hopeless and low anxious worried all these feelings they come to my mind sometimes i know they come and they go they trouble me but in spite of that i love myself i am complete and i feel fulfilled because i know i am a divine being i accept myself completely i love myself wholeheartedly this is the first affirmation that we're doing that i know there is a problem and i have that problem in spite of it i completely wholeheartedly accept myself love myself and i am fulfilled i am i'm a divine being saying this is the first point first start point we are surfacing the problem then saying in spite of it i accept myself i love myself i am complete so this is the first tapping point and tap, tapping process while tapping it's not very lazy or very small it has to be little not very hard either it has to be moderate we are feeling that tap and as i mentioned when we are tapping feel that healing is happening that is important feeling is very important thing feel that healing is happening and we have already got the healing powers from that incredible source on the tip of our fingers when it is touching that part of the body feel that now the same round after we do this we go to three different rounds but then we are only using the eight points eight other different points we are not tapping it again just we surface it then we go for the healing process right now we go to the first point there are five points in our face and one in the chest one below the armpit one above the head so we will in the first round itself i'll explain each of the points and then will tell you what will be the affirmation that will be used for the facial zone normally use two fingers preferably you make a finger like this yeah you can you can do like this as i am showing you the finger these two fingers the middle finger and the ring finger we are using for tapping which are the tapping points the first point is this point the nose and the eyebrows junction junction point the nose bridge and the eyebrows this point so we can put our ring finger there and middle finger next to that and need not be very specific you can that location right that location so we start tapping it while tapping it we have the affirmation the affirmation is i experience negative emotions in my mind sometimes it is very disturbing agonizing make me feel miserable uncomfortable i know they come and they go and when they are there i feel very uncomfortable in spite of that i accept myself and i love myself 
so we are doing the same affirmation that they are there i can see i'm saying that i i know they come and they go and in spite of them i accept myself i love myself so what point 1 point 2 is the other side of the eyebrow okay you can see the cavity of the eye this point we put our ring finger this point and then next to it the middle finger and we tap that location saying the similar affirmation that i know sometimes negative emotions they pervade my mind i feel miserable feel very helpless at times they come they stay for some time giving me a lot of discomfort and lot of pain in my mind in spite of that i accept myself i love myself going to the next point in the face is this location below the eyes where you can see this there are uh, muscles are flowing down from the neck uh, from the uh, nose can you see that this this location and around that point we put our middle finger uh, rather the ring finger and middle finger is next to that if you are a left handed person you can use the left side of the face right handed person right side of the face can choose to do it with both hands but i prefer to do it in one hand and more important is feeling that healing touch the if effect is the same so now we are putting our fingers there and tapping it saying the same affirmation i sometimes experience negative emotions in my mind they come and they create a lot of agonizing feeling disturbing feeling in my mind i can observe that i can see that they come they stay for some time and they go away but in spite of that i love myself i completely accept myself after this we go to the next point again feeling that healing touch is important going to the upper lip area just above the lip just above the lip below the nose that point we tap saying that i know sometimes negative emotions they pervade my mind and i feel very uncomfortable miserable feeling low feeling anxious feeling worried feeling fearful angry all these things they come make me feel very miserable at times low at times i can observe them i can see them clearly being active in my mind but in spite of that i completely whole heartedly from the bottom of my heart from my deep core i love myself i accept myself right after that going to the next point which is the chin this area same affirmation tapping it feeling that healing touch feeling that tap is very important i know sometimes i go through miserable phases because negative emotion they captivate my mind they come in stay there i can see them fear anger agony misery shame guilt anxiety worry they stay there giving me a lot of discomfort but in spite of that i love myself i accept myself completely then these are the five different points we touched now we use both our hands and these four fingers right of each of the hands and then the tapping point is just below the collarbone just below the this point this is the collarbone this area and here we tap with both our fingers uh, both our hands and tapping with the same affirmation feeling that healing touch i know sometimes negative emotions they come to my mind 
they stay there i can see them like anger fear sadness worry guilt all these emotions they stay there i feel so uncomfortable sometimes painful but in spite of that i completely accept myself i love myself right so we are tapping this point and feeling that healing touch at this meridian point the next point is below our armpit it is below our armpit if you are a right handed person a right handed persons they should use the right hand and using these two fingers and locating that point is important the point is about 3 inches below the armpit and if you just press it a little hard you will feel a kind of pain there just locate that point first you will feel a kind of pain at some location about 3 inches 3 to 4 inches below the armpit it may be about 2 inches below the armpit just if you press a little hard it will be very painful so locate that point and then we will tap that with the same affirmation the tapping is that i know sometimes negative emotion they pervade my mental space i feel so uncomfortable feel low feel miserable because of the presence of this negative emotions but in spite of that phase of negative emotion i accept myself completely love myself now we are going to the top of the head the crown position where we tap again feeling that touch is important we are already having that healing point healing power with us and we are tapping it at the top of the head with both our hands all the four fingers not the thumb so we are tapping saying the same thing i sometimes go through those difficult phases when my mind is completely filled with negative emotions i feel miserable at times but in spite of that i completely accept myself and i love myself now this is round 1 we go for the second round with a different set of affirmation tapping remains the same locations remain the same and we are going for the different kind of affirmation in the second round we are giving a suggestion that these emotions they are now getting weaker the source of them they are now getting weaker and we can feel that because i am healing they are becoming smaller weaker and losing their power to disturb me this is the affirmation we are going to go for okay right? so starting again point number 1 I know sometimes emotions they come and disturb me but now I can clearly feel and sense that I am healing the source of that emotional discomfort and I can feel clearly it is getting weaker and weaker it is losing its strength and they are not going to disturb me as much anymore going to the next point i can clearly feel and sense the very source which was causing so much of discomfort negative emotions coming to my mind is getting weaker and getting diluted as if it is slowly losing its strength and i am in a position to handle them much better not being disturbed as much because they are getting diluted as if they are evaporating out going to the next point below the eye i can clearly feel inside with every tap every touch i can sense that this source which was causing all these negative emotions in my mind is being healed and it's getting diluted and 
unlikely to cause problems in my mind. Going to the upper lip area, I can sense that these negative emotions which are causing so much of pain, agony earlier, now are getting diluted. I can feel they are losing their strength. They are becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. And I am now becoming more peaceful, more in control. And I'll not be suffering. I'll be having much better time as these emotions are not likely to come anymore to my mind. Going to the next point, I can clearly feel that the negative emotions which were there, which are causing difficulties, have now healed them and they have become weak. I am in a position to handle them with ease. Going to the chest location, below the collarbone, I can clearly feel the source of emotion is now weak and it is not going to disturb me anymore as much as I have healed them with every tap and I am feeling that healing. Going to the next location below the armpit, the pain point where you can feel that pain as we touch, as we tap. I can feel and sense and see clearly the source of emotional disturbance is now being healed. It's lost its strength and I am gaining control. I'm feeling clearly the healing effect of the emotional disturbances and I am feeling peaceful and knowing that now they are not going to disturb me anymore. Going to the top of the head, I am feeling healed and completely seeing it happening right now as the source of emotion is being diluted, it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker as if evaporating and going away. In the third affirmation, what you're doing is we are tapping and we are saying as if they are seeking permission to go away, leave our mind. I can clearly feel and sense and see that the weak source of those emotional disturbances is now intending to flow away from me and seeking permission not to disturb me anymore and going farther and farther away from my mind. I can see it moving away with every healing tap. Going to the next point. I can clearly see that the source of emotional disturbances are being healed completely and moving away from me as if I am bidding farewell to them, saying goodbye and they are going farther and farther from me. Going to the next point, I can see the source of emotional disturbance. They are moving farther away from me, promising not to disturb me anymore because they are healed completely. Tapping the lower part, the point below the nose, above the lips. I can clearly feel the healing process happening and the very source of emotional disturbance. It's completely leaving my mind space. Going to the next. I'm feeling having a sense of complete freedom as the source of emotional disturbances are going further away and I am absolutely free at this point of time from this negative emotions. Tapping the point below 
the collarbone with both hands i am completely sensing a freedom from the emotions that have been them and they have completely released relieved my mind from the emotional disturbances i can clearly sense that at this point in time with every healing touch going to the armpit location below the armpit that pain point tapping saying i am feeling completely free from the negative emotions i am sensing with every tap the healing has happened i am feeling complete freedom and these emotions these source of the emotions is going farther away and i am complete integrated absolute i'm accepting myself with a sense of freedom and love going to the top of the head i can completely sense at this very moment i'm healed myself from those negative emotions feeling completely free with a sense of gratitude to these healing powers i'm expressing my gratitude with a sense of surrender and trust and enjoying this moment of freedom from the emotional disturbances i am in that space of absolute calm peace love compassion and serenity and enjoying this moment with complete freedom from emotional disturbances i am peaceful joyful and blissful so this is the third round as we do this practice it's a very very powerful practice all of you who are having any sort of emotional disturbance use this kinesthetic process wherein we tap touch different locations of the body feel that healing happening and then going through the deformation that these are going away the negative emotions are fading away they are flowing away and i'm healing and at the end of it i'm completely feeling blissful joyful and free from the emotional disturbances and slowly as we practice more and more we have that state where we are free from that source of emotional disturbance 